Hello and welcome to procedural worlds in Blender and more specifically stylized ones. I am Nino and I will be your teacher for this course. Now I've been a 3D artist for quite some time now, more than four years and I've also been an industrial design engineer for a while which is also what I've studied for. I love to combine technical elements with arts and with teaching as well nowadays and that's exactly how I'm trying to kind of combine my passion into this course. Over the course of my kind of career as a 3D artist, I started off as a generalist, but I soon figured out that proceduralism was really the thing that I got attached to because it also had that nice kind of technical element, right? It's not just art, but you actually create entire systems, entire procedural workflows, which is what I really liked. So I got into proceduralism. I used it more and more for my actual work as well. I used it for promotions. I used it to create animations. I used it to set up environments and to tweak those environments for different kind of projects as well. Now I enjoyed geometry nodes and proceduralism so much that I started to create more and more tutorials on it as well. The things that I picked up during my work where I used proceduralism, I love to teach to others as well. Now I started using geometry nodes so much that I also created my own tools like Mossify and StrandKit, a Setify which is more of an add-on, I created Webify, I created a lot of procedural tools for everyone to use. And that gave me a lot of of experience in creating vegetation assets procedurally like mushrooms but also trees and plants and well a lot of moss <laughs> right mossify and um, but also using it for example for hair geometry node based hair which is what StrandKit really does it has a huge library with a lot of hair that I all created with geometry nodes now I came to the realization that over the course of my work when I work with proceduralism there's a lot of things that I keep using over and over again it is really the foundation of creating a beautiful stunning environment and things that you can combine efficiently to create your own cool tool. That is the main focus of this course. We are going to create a tool together, a terrain builder, a terrain generator. It is going to be fully procedural. Nothing will be hand created. We're going to start off with a single plane and we're going to turn that into a beautiful stylized environment. And we're going to focus on every step and every step will be procedural. We're going to start by creating terrain. We're going to displace things to create hills, extrude them and we're going to create valleys that will fill up with water. We're going to create individual vegetation assets as well. We're not just going to scatter things. We're going to create grass in a procedural way. Grass bundles, clumps, variations of grass. We're going to create the trees, the stems, the leaves themselves as well. We're going to think performance but we're also going to think about beauty and detail a combination of both we're going to create lily pads we're going to create flowers we're going to create water and i like water we're going to focus on the water and make it beautiful now every asset has its own procedural shader as well the terrain has more shaders we have sand we have grass we have dirt but every asset has at least its own shader and that is going to be a beautiful combination between geometry nodes and shading and that is what it really is often it goes hand in hand we have geometry nodes and procedural shaders and the two of those combined is an incredibly powerful tool as far as teaching goes i've had a lot of experience on youtube there's about 130 videos on my youtube now where i kind of only teach blender right i go into uh, various topics but also a lot of geometry notes because i just like it now if you are interested in this course and you're not sure if my teaching way is the way to go for you just check out my youtube go to well the latest videos are probably the most representative of the way i teach nowadays so make sure to have a look at those before you start the course and if you're interested, if you like it, make sure to, well, have fun during the course creating your first procedural world in Blender that can always change, that can always evolve, and that can always help you out efficiently.